Hey there, we are back with another follow-up video on unit conversions involving the Earth's oceans. And in this video, we'll talk about the potassium ions. Given the molar mass of your potassium to be 39.102 grams per mole, and as we have previously calculated on the other videos, that the mass of your potassium ions in the Earth's ocean is known to be 5.06 times 10 to the 17 kilograms. So all we need to do here Let's convert first this kilogram to grams using one conversion factor and multiply that gram that we will be arriving or calculating in this part into the molar mass here for us to get the mole answer of your potassium ions okay all right so we have here the outline of our solution starting with the mass 5.06 times 10 to 17 kilograms again this was previously calculated before so this is a given in this problem and one conversion factor, that is one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So obviously the unit kilogram will cancel out, leaving us with the unit in grams. But we are asked to calculate for the unit in moles, the moles of the potassium ions in the Earth's ocean. So we need to multiply that with the molar mass. But remember, you have to make sure that the units are in their proper places for you to see the cancellation. So therefore, you have the unit gram in the denominator here so we can cancel the unit gram here and we are left with the desired unit which is in moles so let's do the calculation and the answer is 1.30 that's 1.30 times 10 to the 19 moles of your potassium ions and that is the concentration sorry that is the amount of moles of your potassium ions in the earth's oceans okay and you must be wondering why in your calculator that's not exactly 1.30 that is because you have again rounded off to accommodate only three significant figures because that is what we were given in the starting point now remember that the converse equivalent statements that we are using here the molar mass will not help you determine the correct number of significant figures okay so instead of reporting 1.295 here it should be 1.30 so we have rounded off to our final answer with only three significant figures okay so that is all for this video thank you for listening and continue learning